Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are talking about the fixed blade. This is the Pickled Steel Camper. Okay, we get a box like this. Nice beautiful big box. Then when you open it, oh the knife was inside of this thing. We get a cleaning cloth and some, what do you call that stuff? Beautiful foam, a little mattress. Okay, we're doing this outside because it's load shedding and we don't have power for the next four hours, but I really wanted to do this. Okay, so the knife. Beautiful Kydex sheath. Let's put that away first. Beautiful Kydex sheath. Um, I don't know with what the holes will be compatible, but you don't need anything. We have a nice drainage hole at the bottom. We have a push off point. Sorry, I'm a bit shaky today. Um, and then we have this wonderful clip thing over here. So it means you can carry it scout style or like that. And it clips into your, what do you call it, belt. But I just clip it into my pants and then I feel like Rambo while walking around here. I'll show you a shot of that now. Don't I just look super cool getting my fixed blade on my stomach like that. Okay, then sheath. Wonderful. Okay, so I like this thing and I like that you can move it without taking the knife off. Then here is the knife. Okay, so this thing looks wonderful. We have a hollow ground blade here. Then we have a flat ground portion here. We have a switch. This thing is D2 steel and it's a full tang thick thing. Okay, now they say this is my card and I believe them. But let's just... It sounds hollow. Okay, so I don't know if it's just a round micarta shell over the handles, but that's fine. Okay, it feels wonderful in hand. Okay, beautifully, whatever you want to do, whatever grip you want to use, this thing feels awesome. Okay, and it comes with this little uh, paracord fob at the back. You can keep it or take it off. Okay, Pickled Steel changed their logo. Look at that. Okay, so the P is at the top. So it's PS, not SP, as I thought initially. Um, but the piece of D2 on this thing is fantastic. So even if you want to rescale it yourself, D2 Camper. We have a nice sharpening choil over there. So you can have a lot of life in this knife. Um, it's not super thin over here. Well, not thin enough, but it's a camping knife. And then over here it's quite thick, but it will be wonderful for piercing. Now, when I first saw these mosaic pins, I thought this stuff must be painted on. Because it's so flush, you can feel it smoother, but that's the only thing. Okay, so I was <laughs> under the impression this was not real. This could not be real. Until I took another knife and scraped it. Okay, and guess what? This is real mosaic pins. And look at it. That's beautiful. Now for a thousand rand, yeah, 900 and something. This is quite an awesome knife. Okay, um, like I said, I don't know, this feels hollow, but it might just be me. I might be wrong, but you can't feel it in end. It's only the sound. Okay, but still grippy enough, wonderful. Okay, so I've been playing with this knife and carrying it around, and I've been abusing it a bit. Okay, I'll put some video towards the end. Also, I think we're going to pry thin little wars because I'm trying to eat again. Um, yes, wonderful knife. So if you're in the market for a very functional, wonderful, wonderful, positive click when it goes into the sheath, it does rattle a bit, but nothing too clangy, and it will never fall out. Wonderful. This knife and sheath for a thousand rand for everything you're getting. I think that's a great bargain. Um, well, you can take this off and carry it in your pocket. It's not that super big. This is the, what do you call this thing? Artisan Cutlery Ahab. So you see it's about uh, quarter inch, quarter inch maybe. If we're that much, maybe less. Yeah, maybe less. Okay. Um, so it's not a super big knife, but it's a perfect size for all of your camping tasks. You can do food prep, you can carve, you can do everything with this. And I've been beating it and it still works perfectly. So I've been splitting big wood into smaller wood. Um, you should never baton with knives. 
that's not what they are intended for. But if you do it, at least use a fixed blade. Okay, this is circle boss. So it is quite a hard wood. But this knife just loves this. Okay, awesome, pickled steel. Okay, we still have a bit of fire, but as soon as that dies down and we have coals, we'll do thin little sausages. First thin, I don't know what type of force this is, but it's quite thin. Okay, wars is done. <laughs> Shot. Okay, if you made it till the end of this video, you are fantastic. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye.